What is going on ladies and generals, Yodi Slayer here, bringing you episode 15 of my Borderlands 2 Legendary Weapons Guide. Today I'm bringing you a shotgun named the Striker. In my case it is the Barb Striker. In your case, the prefix of this gun may change, but you will get some variation of this. Now mine is only at level 49, I want to point that out before we get into this. But if you look at the red text there, it says Fonder 13. I have no idea what Fonder is, but if you check out this version of it, it has 50% melee damage and it has a huge blade on the end of it. So that is pretty freaking awesome. To get this shotgun, you're going to want to go to the Highlands Outwash. Now, this is where the gun is actually located, but this is going to be similar to farming the bunker uh, from what we seen in the video yesterday. You're going to want to start here but go somewhere else to farm the, for this thing. It is located within here, but I'm gonna show you the fastest way. So when you start in here, you're gonna be at the top right hand corner of the map. You're gonna work your way down here to the left, and this is where, in the red circle is where Slappy is. That's who you're fighting is Slappy. But you're gonna wanna go up here to the green circle and actually exit out to the Highlands. Doing this, you'll see why just in a second. I speed this up, but I'll explain why you've got to do that. Uh, but if you go to the Highlands door and you actually exit out to the Highlands, and then come back in. Once you save and exit, you will start at that door at, that was located within the green circle. And now that way you don't have to run all the way through, you know, what we just did there. But here's the door you've got to exit out to the Highlands. All you got to do is simply go out to the Highlands. Once you get in there, turn back around, go back through the door, and you'll be right there, right next to where Slappy spawns. He is the Thresher. He's kind of, he's kind of hard, but if you got the B and the, um, the Comfort Skull, he's pretty much a breeze. But once you get back here into the Highlands, we'll check the map right here. You can see I'm right here by that door. Slappy is located just right here down to my bottom. It's a lot easier than running from all the way over there. You don't have to go through those little stupid things that go invisible. I can't even think of their names right now. I hate them. But right here is where we skip ahead to where I actually do get this gun. Now, this guy, this shotgun is pretty cool. I was really expecting something awesome being the striker. You know, we play Call of Duty, and I was like, dude, this gun might be pretty epic. It looks pretty freaking epic. But as you'll see at the, at the end of this video, when I show you some gameplay of it, it's really not that great of a shotgun. So here's old Slappy here. He pops up in the middle of this little pond here. Don't even bother shooting at him right here in this first initial stage. You can't injure him. He actually comes up, and that's just like his manly roar i guess and he goes back underground once he comes back up you can shoot and you know do whatever you got to do to kill him but as you can see right here he does drop the old slappy right there i seen it laying there but i always got to kind of act like i'm important like yeah i don't even care i just want all this ammo and stuff right there but the barb striker fires as fast as you can pull the trigger okay you see that it says fires as fast as you can pull the trigger yeah, dude, for two freaking shots. I didn't look at this. The magazine size is two, but you can pull it. You know, you can fire as fast as you can pull the trigger twice. I mean, if you got a good trigger finger, we know all the ladies love that fast trigger finger. You got two shots. That's about it. That's one of the reasons I don't really like this gun that much. It does have 45% critical hit damage, so it's a big plus. But still, with only those two shots and the reload is somewhat slow, it's pretty bad. Right here, we're going to skip ahead to some gameplay. I do have the beast shield on right now. So it's going to beast these little vi violent pirates. Now, if you're unfamiliar where we're at right now, this is actually from the new DLC. Some of you may have not seen this yet. There's no spoilers or anything. I just wanted to skip ahead instead of showing you guys the same place in uh, Lynchhood. I wanted to show you some action somewhere else, and this was about the best place I could think of. Now, these dudes will monkey punch you in your anus if you're not careful. They can put you down pretty quick. Look, this guy, he, like, teleports right behind me, and I'm like, dude, this guy is a freaking ninja. I can't hit him. I've only got two shots. I don't know. If you're collecting all the legendaries, you definitely want to go get this gun. It took me a few tries to get. Actually, it took me longer than some of the other guns, uh, but I did finally get it. I'd say it took me probably 75 kills on that guy, Slappy, to get this gun. So beware. It does take a little bit of time. At least it did for me. I mean, you could get it on your first try. You could get it on your 3,000th try. You may be one ugly, unlucky SOB and like get it on your millionth try if you want to do that. But I don't, I wouldn't recommend anybody going for this gun unless you're collecting all the legendaries like I am here. Now, if you got the beast shield, it is a beast if you get hit him. But it seems like the hip fire was just really bad with this gun. Like, I couldn't hit anybody when I was hip firing. You actually have to use this scope. So that's the main downfall to it. I, I, I did not melee anybody with this blade to show you guys this gameplay. But it's not, it's just typical. We've all had the guns in Borderlands 2 with the blade with 50% damage. That's about all there is to it. It doesn't really beast them too much. I mean, it adds a little bit. Maybe that's what the Fonder stood for. But I don't know. I wasn't really digging this gun very much. If you've got, like, an assassin and you've got your melee 
increased like your uh, in your skill tree I'd imagine this gun might be beastly dudes I don't know but right there you can see I did switch to the black hole well, a couple seconds ago and you can see it takes a couple hits to hit them if you get them in a critical uh, if you can hit them critical with the headshot it, it, it'll kill pretty efficiently but it's still just not that great, man. So, But this is the Striker, guys. I hope you enjoyed episode 15 of my Borderlands 2 Legendary Weapons Guide. A lot of people have been asking for the B, so that will be next. I'll have that up later this evening. If you don't want to watch that, you've already seen it. You know, you can skip that. Feel free. But I'm out of here, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. Have fun getting the Striker, and uh, I'll see you later. Peace.